Chapter 10 is a very unique chapter in the book of Daniel. Not because of the prophecy, there's not one, but because it's an entire chapter about Daniel's vision of a prophetic messenger, the one who will bring the amazing prophecy of Daniel chapter 11. The time frame given would put Daniel in his 80s. We're told Daniel is weak at this point. He's frail and he's deathly pale, not from age, not from fasting, but from mourning. And he's struck with fear as this man appears, dressed in white linen with a belt of pure gold around his waist. And in verse 11, the messenger said this, O Daniel, greatly loved of God. This same message was given to Daniel by the angel Gabriel back in chapter 9 and used again by this messenger in verse 19 when he said, Don't be afraid, for you are deeply loved by God. Be at peace, take heart, and be strong. So what's going on here? First, Bible scholars are divided on just who this messenger is. Some say Jesus because he looked remarkably like John's description of Jesus in Revelation 1. Others say he's an unnamed angel of high rank. I think it's safe to say, at the very least, he was an angelic being. But put yourself in Daniel's sandals for a moment. Daniel is very weak physically at this time, and someone needed to talk him down off the ledge, so to speak. And this messenger does just that. In the middle of delivering some of the most bizarre foretellings in Scripture, God speaks through His chosen messenger and touches Daniel's heart with a message of unconditional love, divine favor, and endless encouragement. God shows up and gives Daniel everything he needs. And that's what I hope you'll take away from this devotion with you today, that God will do the same for you. I don't know what you're facing today, but if you've trusted in Jesus Christ and surrendered every aspect of your life over to Him, His presence represented by His love, His favor, His encouragement, all those things are with you today. Peter said this about God's covering in our lives. By His divine power, God has given us everything we need to live a godly life. We've received all this by coming to know Him, the one who called us to Himself by means of His marvelous glory and excellence. So if you start your day with nothing else today, I hope you'll start it with this. You, like Daniel, are deeply loved by God. Mm -hmm.